Thank you, Chair. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so I'll speak about this uh, innovative model called the Auto Facility uh, community, uh, um, community ART Distribution Model, um, otherwise acronymed as the OFCAD model. So um, I work for Organization of Public Health Interventions and Development, which is a PEPFA implementing partner in Zimbabwe, supporting 300,000 clients um, across 15 districts in the country. And um, as with most ART programs, um, disengagement in care is of concern, uh, particularly in rural, um, hard to reach areas. And therefore, uh, DSD models are quite vital as part of patient-centered um, uh, care. And this is particularly uh, so in uh, Matabele and South, which is to the southwestern part of Zimbabwe, uh, where um, it's sparsely populated and uh, semi-arid, uh, with uh, 13 people per square kilometer versus uh, 38 for the country. Hence, beginning of May 2022, we implemented this off guard model, which was initially piloted by MSF and Minister of Health in 2018. So this model is a community us uh, distribution model, uh, which is individualized, uh, whereby medicines are distributed through community lake cutters at their households or at a designated um, venue, three monthly, and they support up to 50 clients at most. And um, the off-card leaders, they basically collect uh, medicines from the facility and dispense them out in the community. They also do TB screening, they also do um, um, uh, uh, counseling as well, and also refer clients um, who have TB symptoms for further referral at the facility. And clients come every six and 12 months um, for their viral load and clinic review visits. Um, some key steps which are vital in establishing off cut models is first and foremost uh, identifying areas um, that have barriers to access. Um, like in our case, we have areas where the system factors um, prohibit clients from crossing bridges to get access to facilities, exaggerated transport costs, or some um, areas which are around um, large-scale farms or uh, wildlife parks. And what is also important is to also have situational analysis and mapping, uh, whereby they prioritize wards where there are high volumes of art clients, where there's de high defaulter rates, and also um, um, low DSD take up. And then community engagement in establishing and identifying people who implement these programs, mostly layered upon those who provide other services is quite important. So we basically compared retention uh, between those receiving facility-based art and those in the AFCAD model. And I'll just move uh, right to the results. Uh, what was key um, and foremost is that uh, retention was comparable between the two arms and that all the clients who are less agile uh, found the off-cut model more preferable um, compared to facility-based art refills. Um, so our take-home message really is that uh, establishing and oper operationalizing these off-cut models should be done in coordination with the Ministry of Health and engagement of the communities. Um, and that retention is comparable compared, uh, um, in reference to uh, facility-based art refills, and therefore the model is scalable. Uh, to date, we have 74 off-card models over a year, supporting 368,000 um, uh, clients. And we are moving on uh, in a project that we are working with uh, FHI 360 to pilot um, their drug decentralized uh, app to actually then better track medicines that are dispensed out in the facilities. Uh, you're welcome to post number 18 uh, to have a better discussion, on, uh, more detailed discussion. Thank you.